Godly sorrow doesn't operate like that. So let's talk about godly sorrow, godly grief. Um, what I'm about to teach through is not original to me. Thomas Watson, who's a Puritan, uh, wrote a 90-page little pamphlet, if, you, if a Puritan thing can be called a pamphlet, um, uh, called The Doctrine of Repentance. So I'm pulling these six things from his little pamphlet. You can download that PDF for free online and read it. Um, it it's a great little booklet. It, you'll love it. Um, and so he says there's really six things that come together around godly grief that lead us to repentance that lead us to the salvation with a life no, with no regrets. And, and here's what they are. Um, godly grief has sight. It can see. Now that sounds um, silly and elementary, but man, don't ever despise the gift of sight. To be able to see sin is a great mercy and grace from God because most of, it, uh, most of us are blind to our rebellion against God and our sinfulness towards God. We're just blind to it. And when God grants sight to people, it is a beautiful gift. And so uh, I think you see this most clearly in Luke chapter 15, the, the parable of the prodigal son. He took his inheritance and he squandered his wealth on prostitutes and alcohol, really made a mess of his life. He was buying friends. He was buying drinks for his friends, buying girls for his friends. Uh, a famine hit. He lost all his money. He ends up in a pigsty eating the slop. This is royalty. Son of the father in a pigsty eating the slop meant for pigs. And then in Luke 15, verse 17, one of the most beautiful sentences in the Bible uh, are found. And here's what it says. And when he came to himself, when he came, when he woke up, when he was able to see, he woke up and he's like, I'm in a pigsty. I'm eating the food that were meant for pigs. When I'm the son of royalty, when I have a father whose slaves live better than I live. He comes to himself. It's the gift of sight. Now, listen to me. Here's why the proclamation of the whole word of God becomes so important. Because the word of God is surgical. Are you tracking with what I mean by that? Like the word of God, it's going to cut. It's going to reveal. It's going to show us where our rebellion is. And so when the word of God is preached or when you read it, if you feel discomfort, if you don't like, if you feel uneasy, look at me, don't ever despise that. That is a gift from God to let you see. See, the word of God serves a type of MRI purpose on our lives. It reveals where tumor is. It reveals where cancer is. It reveals where we are sick. And so the full counsel of God being proclaimed to us becomes important so that we might see where we're weak, where we're diseased, where we need. And, and the gift of sight is the first marker of godly sorrow. I have sinned to be able to see it. If you don't have sight, man, this is where you really need to ask the Lord. If you feel like there's no sin in you, this is problematic. This, that's 1 John chapter 1, 1 through 5. If you say there is no sin in you, you lie and deceive yourselves. The truth isn't in you. Uh, John, the apostle John, is going to go so far as to say, if you think you're sinless, you're not saved. You, you think you're sinless, that's not a marker of a converted heart. And, and so ultimately here, the gift of sight then leads to the, the gift of sorrow. So you have sight, and sight flows to sorrow. So.